Okay guys, welcome back to Tank TV and today I want to talk about the best two ways or the correct way to cycle and start a new fish tank. Now, this was one of the first videos that I wanted to upload onto the Tank TV channel, but over the f past few weeks I'd been umming and ahhing and deciding how I wanted to come across and how I wanted to describe uh, how new fish keepers are introduced into the hobby and unfortunately if you take a look at again the Facebook forums or the Facebook pages and the forums online you'll see a lot of issues with new fish keepers because of the way they have been advised. Now not everybody, not every single store but unfortunately what happens is someone that's new into the hobby or planning on getting a fish tank or planning on getting a fish tank for their children or may want something to decorate the room the first place they will usually go is who they see as the specialist within the industry and that is usually the large chains and that's where they go. Now where the unfortunate bit happens is nine times out of ten and again like I said I don't want to paint everyone with the same brush but it is a majority. Nine times out of ten the, the new fish keep or the individual will be told buy the tank or here's the tank, here's the heater, here's your decor, here's your filter. Go home, set the tank up, let it warm up for 24, 48 hours, come back, choose the fish you want with our bottle, our own branded bottle of bacteria and off you go. Now unfortunately that does not work and it, it, a tank has to go through what you call the nitrogen cycle okay a tank has to go through this cycle now I'm not going to go into too much detail of how the nitrogen cycle works because I'm going to be doing that on another video but part the first two stages of the nitrogen cycle is ammonia has to build up in the tank and nitrite you can't avoid it it has to happen I'm going to go through the two tips of how to cycle the tank correctly and in the second tip you can avoid it but you still may have a small what you call um, a mini cycle or a small nitrite or ammonia spike which again I'll tell you and explain how you can deal with safely and correctly I understand that from a business point of view um, I used to build businesses and divisions for a living companies have to make money they have to make profit to stay alive and to stay afloat what you also have to remember is that individual that you're dealing with in the store he has sales targets to keep his job he more than likely will be earning commission as well on his sales the assistant manager and the manager above him again will have sales targets and targets to achieve to keep their job and keep the store running the region, the store owner, if it's a franchise, the regional, the director above him, and even the guy sat right at the top that owns, owns the chain, they all have targets. What also comes with that is their own branded products. They make them more money. There's a bigger margin, there's a bigger profit, so it's what they will sell to you to generate more money and generate more income. I understand what has to be done for a business to function. The unfortunate thing about this side of things is it's done at your expense and the biggest reason or the biggest unfortunate reason at these guys lives health and expense also it's the wrong way to do it you cannot take a fish tank fish tank home warm it up set it up warm it up put the fish in and off you go your fish will have to go through the nitrogen cycle and they will be exposed to ammonia and nitrite poisoning if you do it that way so the first way that you can do it correctly as mentioned before, the tank has to go through a nitrogen cycle and what that means is you have a buildup of ammonia where, a where a over time a bacteria develops within the tank which neutralizes the ammonia that's in the tank. You then get nitrite, again a secondary bacteria builds up to, uh, to neutralize and consume the nitrite which then makes the water safe for fish. The, work the correct way and the best way to get a fish tank up and running the correct way is you introduce that ammonia by yourself, your own source of ammonia without it being fish waste. So there's no fish in the tank and you're introducing an ammonia, a, an ammonia source into the tank to get the cycle going. Now, there's two, there's, there's two ways that you can do it and probably the most successful ways. And it's the way I've always done it is you can buy a product called Dr. Tim's Pure Ammonia. Really simple to use. It's a bottle of pure ammonia. The instructions are on the bottle. So that's Dr. Tim's ammonia and all you're doing is you're dropping or adding ammonia into the tank each day to get the cycle kick, to get the cycle kick started and on its way. So instead of exposing these guys to ammonia, the tank is empty 
and you're getting the tank cycled through your own source of ammonia, pure ammonia. You can use products, ammonia off the shelf or any other product, you just have to make sure it is pure ammonia with no, with no um, scent to it or any other sort of product added to it. It has to be pure ammonia. And like I said, what that will do, it's all the instructions are on the bottle, is over a six to eight week period that will put the tank through the cycle. And then when you know it, you'll know when you're at the end because you will basically dose the tank to four ppm of ammonia. And within 24 hours, the, tank, the ammonia would have been neutralized and it will be back to zero. That means your cycle has finished and it is then, or the water is then safe for fish. The second way you can do it, um, it's just what you call ghost feeding. So you will add a source of food, um, it could be flakes. Um, if you're on a large tank like this, it's probably not the best way because you're gonna have to add a large amount of food. Um, or you can add something like a raw shrimp. Um, and it, what it will do is it will just decay in the tank, again, creating a source of ammonia to get that ni uh, nitrogen cycle kickstarted and off you go. Now, yes, it does mean for a six to eight week period, you are gonna be looking at a fish tank with no fish, it's gonna be empty. Two main reasons it's gonna help and it's gonna be a huge benefit for you. If you're putting fish in straight away, more nine times out of 10 or more than likely, over the first three to four weeks, they're going to die because they would have been exposed to the ammonia and nitrite poisoning. Imagine you as a human and, 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 and an individual, if you were sat in a bath of ammonia, it's not gonna be good for you, it's not gonna be nice and you're gonna end up very ill. These guys are obviously swimming in it, they're inhaling it, they're, they're, they're uh, taking it into their bodies, and that's why you end up with sick or dead fish within the first few weeks of setting up a new tank. So if you're dealing with that at the moment, it is more than likely you are going through the cycle and you're exposing these guys to ammonia. So it's not good for the fish. Second of all, your mentality, stress levels, and your wallet. You put the fish in straight away. The tank starts to go through the cycle, three to four weeks down the line, all the fish die. You've spent money on them fish, and they're now gone. What you then have to do is you then have to go out and buy more fish again to keep the cycle going, or you can then go over to the ammonia way, or the, the cycle stalls, it, clo it collapses, and you have to start all over again, and you're back at the first week or the starting stage of week one to eight of the nitrogen cycle. Guys, fishless cycle is the way forward, okay? Like I said, for the fish's health, like I know that people go into the store and they are advised wrong. Um, it happens, it happens within the, in within the industry, and it is unfortunate. They don't advise, or you're not advised to do it this way purely because it means you go out with just a fish tank, heater, filter, and then they won't see you again for six to eight weeks. The way they're advised, or the way you're advised, is you get to come back the next day and buy your fish, and they get to bring you in again and sell you more product. It's not the right way to do it. You this tank has to cycle. You have to allow the water to go through the nitrogen cycle to deplete and neutralize ammonia and nitrite and then your tank is ready in six to eight weeks time to add fish. Strategy number two. The way you can avoid the cycle but you still have to keep a very close eye on it is you can add already developed or cycled media and sponges into your filtration. So if you're running a tank already, great. You've already got cycled media that you can transfer from the old tank into the new or into the new filtration. If you've got friends or family that already have cycled media or already have a tank that's been up and running, again, making sure it's been longer than the sort of eight week period, longer and the more established, the better. You can take some of that media, not some, it has to be a reasonable amount where the water passing through it is going to come in contact with that cycled media. Place that in your sump or in your uh, hang on filter, external canister, and you can then add fish straight away because the media is already cycled to then deal with the ammonia and nitrite. Now it has to be done in the right way. Say if you're using a sump filtration, there is a large area of where water can carry through and not come in contact with the cycle media that you've put in. So if again, if you're using a sump, I would get some cycled sponges and media and I would make sure it's placed under the pipe 
So it's the first thing that the water comes in contact with. And then again, same with the sponges. And again, with the media, making sure the sponges and the media are the, are the first and only thing that water has to travel through before it goes through the rest of the filtration. What that will also do is the bacteria that's built up on the media and sponges, your mechanical and biological filtration, will knock off developed bacteria and start to seed, or what you call seeding, the rest of the filtration. Same, it's a little bit more difficult with external canisters um, because there are areas of the canister where water can travel through. So what you just need to do is you just need to try and make sure it's as spread out as possible. So if you've got sponges going in the canister, mix them in with the new sponges that have come with the canister. If it's media, get it mixed in with the current media or the new media that, it, that it's come with. That is the one way that you can add fish straight away if you've got access or able to obtain cycled media from friends or family or if you've got a cycled tank already up and running. Again, we go back to the question as, okay, so why don't the fish stores just supply cycled media? Again, it's the unfortunate situation of a company has to make money, they have to push and sell their own products, which is the bottled bacteria. If they're giving you or selling you one, if they're giving you or selling you obviously the uh, cycled media, they're going to be removing it and removing it from their system. So I understand it's not always possible, especially if they're running low and they need to get it recycled. But also, it's unfortunate to say, and I feel quite strong saying it, is they do have to push their product and advise you to do it that way with their bottled bacteria, ammonia and nitrite removers, their resins and stuff like that. So that is one way, like I said, if you've already got cycled media, you can put that into your filtration and you can add fish straight away. But with that said, you do still need to keep an eye. You know, like I said, you're gonna have water that's gonna pass through the filtration, potentially not coming in contact with cycled media so you do need to get yourself a liquid test kit and for the first six to eight weeks we should have one anyway but for the first six to eight weeks just keep testing once or twice a day for your ammonia and nitrite any sort of sign of ammonia or nitrite you need to deal with it either through water changes or you can use Chem prime and you can do five times a dose to neutralize the ammonia and nitrite Okay, so like I said, I just wanna, it's a quick video this week and I just wanted to put out there the correct way to get a fish tank started. Now, you may be just about to purchase your new fish tank, you're starting to look into the hobby. You may have just purchased it and it's set there and it's sat there ready to set up. So I want you to watch through the video and like I said, if you've been advised in the way that I said, people tend to get, or customers tend to get advised by stores, it's not the correct way to do it and it's gonna cause you a good six to eight weeks of stress. So you've got method number one, adding a source of ammonia into the tank without fish for a six to eight week period while it goes through the nitrogen cycle. A quick cap on the nitrogen cycle is it goes through the ammonia, the nitrite, and then the nitrate. Once it hits nitrate, and your ammonia, once you're showing a, a PPM or you're showing nitrate in your tank and the ammonia and nitrite is showing zero, you have successfully completed your cycle. It takes on average six to eight weeks. You have to be patient and it teaches you. Probably one of the most important things in the hobby is to be patient and take your time. So you'll stay, you're, you're not, your number one way to do it is your fish to cycle, adding a source of ammonia and allowing the tank to cycle by itself and then adding fish once the tank is cycled. Second way, as just mentioned, you can add cycled media into your sump, your canisters, your hang-on filters, your filtration, just to seed it. But like I said, you have to get, unless you're getting a very large amount or you're able to transfer the entire canister with uh, cycled media, cycled sponges, you have to keep an eye on it because like I said, there are gonna be, there is gonna be water that manages to travel past or around so-called mechanical and biological filtration and back into the tank. But again, it is a way that you can add cycled media straight into the tank on the first day and add fish on the first day. So guys, if you haven't already, there's gonna, there's gonna be a lot more sort of fish keeping tips coming up over the next few weeks. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button just down below. Keep tuned and until next time, take care of your fish.